More and more often these days, an interesting story is being presented to men and women in homes and offices all over America. Through a booklet, facts about vitamins, minerals, and Super Thrive supplement. And the person who presents the story is a member of your own community, your Super Thrive distributor. Super Thrive seems like something straight out of the 40s or 50s, especially by the way they market this thing and the packaging on it. Uh, really excited to try this guy out and see if it actually uh, stands up to all the hype. So, as per request of one of the viewers, we are going to be using Super Thrive to germinate seeds and we'll be setting up some rock wool and some of them will be soaked in with a little bit of Super Thrive and some will not and we'll just try to monitor those and see uh, which ones do best. So the water has been adjusted already. I brought it down to 5.5 pH. Uh, this is rain water we're using. There's going to be three bowls. We're going to soak the cubes in three separate bowls. Each bowl will have three cubes. One cube will have no Super Thrive, the other will have a drop of Super Thrive, and the other will have two drops of Super Thrive. I know it's crazy, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So I have my three bowls. I'm just going to fill them up now with the 5.5 pH, and then we'll add the uh, Super Thrive after that. So we're about to add the Super Thrive and it is apparently the best thing on earth. It is the greatest guarantee offer proof ever. It's unchallenged. There's a $5,000 guarantee on this. You know, I guess if it doesn't work, you can collect $5,000. Uh, but then on the back you read it says something about a non-guarantee. So I'm not too sure. It's a little iffy. The packaging is just... It's kind of funny because they cram as much stuff on there as they can. But I'm willing to give it a shot just to see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario is our experiment shows that it doesn't really do anything. And then we can try to get, you know, I'll write a letter and we'll see if we can get 5G's back out of this. Alright, so I have my three bowls. Number one, just going to be plain water. Number two, one drop. Number three two drops and this stuff is really concentrated so I shouldn't have to use a lot so let's open this up just get a bit in here easy does it easy does it now not too much just one drop oh there it goes there goes all those minerals and nutrients all just getting in there. Okay, so in this one we'll be putting in two drops. Hopefully that's not over the limit and uh, everything goes well. One. And number... Ooh! Wow, that is some strong stuff. All right, well, uh, let's get the cubes in there. Set up the cubes, get those soaking. Probably leave them in there for about 20 minutes, half an hour. And then they will be ready for the seeds to get in there. So if you watched uh, another video we did, we looked at uh, starting seeds in water with varying pHs and which ones did best. We're going to do the same kind of seed selection method for this one. We'll just look at seeds that are looking about the same size and whatnot, and then uh, we will use those ones to put into the rock wool. Okay, so these things are ready for some seeds. So I'm going to take the cubes out, drop in some seeds, and I've got some little tags here just so I can keep track of everything so nothing gets confused.
So that's about it. We got the cubes into the little sprouting tray and on top of the plumber's heat tape kind of thing. And we'll just keep an eye on them to see uh, what sprouts first. And uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as I get some results. So does Super Thrive really work? I guess we will find out. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss the results of that one. And I hope to have some new videos up too coming up next week. Uh, maybe end of this week. We'll see. But thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Thanks.